Hey band, today we're going to be talking about deliberate practice. To understand deliberate practice, it's very important to understand what deliberate practice isn't. These are examples of things that are not deliberate practice. Hey, look, I can play the piano. Hey, check out this weird noise I can make. Cool, right? One of the traps that we can run into as musicians is playing the same things over and over again, playing things that we're already good at. Now, while there's some benefit to just playing your instrument and playing anything, deliberate practice is when you work on a specific skill, a specific thing that you're trying to get better at. So some examples of this might be practicing long tones, which develops, well, you guessed it, your tone. Playing Remingtons and other range extending exercises that make you better at hearing intervals and extend your range. Taking and playing scales. That's right, scales. I know we hate them, but they're so good for you. Or even just working out a new piece of music note by note, each rhythm and each note individually. While playing things that are fun on your instrument are very, very important, it's also really important that we're always trying new things and that we're always pushing ourselves in different ways. So I'd like to challenge you this week to take and set a goal for what you want to accomplish. Set a goal for your tone quality. Set a goal for your technique. Set a goal for new pieces of music and new sections of music inside of our contest music. Whatever that goal is, start working towards it with deliberate practice. And then you're going to find that you can accomplish things that you might not have even imagined. All right? Now go practice.